Your first MLB start was June 1st, 1998. I want you to give me some do's and don'ts during your first start for a pitcher because we have three starting pitchers making their debuts today. Uh, Brandon Fott, Gavin Stone for the Dodgers, Jake Irvin for the Nationals. He's going against the Cubs tonight. What advice would you give them? Yeah, I think the do's and one thing that I'm really happy that I did during that start was I took a little bit of extra time before the start to go out early. Like you're at Wrigley Field, this place is iconic. Um, and I just took a little bit of time to soak it all in and see all the fans and hear the Oregon and the, you know, the noises and that kind of stuff. So that stuff, you know, give yourself a little bit of extra time because things move really, bit, really fast, right? It's moving quick um, where you can just enjoy that moment. It's your first major league start. It's special. It's, uh, it's something you're never going to do again. You get that one first start. So, and then don't, um, don't fall behind major league hitters. And then don't groove fastballs to the best home run hitters in the league. Hmm. If I had some don'ts, don't do that. Don't walk Mark Grace ahead of Henry Rodriguez. Um, you know, but other than that, I, I just say do a lot of things. Have some fun. Smile. I think that's the one thing. If I could go back, I'd smile a little bit more because it was it was enjoyable, man. It was Wrigley Field. Yeah. First major league start. It's cool. Yeah, I'll tell you something funny, Sierra. And I don't know if you know the story, but how I got my first start. Okay, I got called up. Came in for a defensive replacement, you know, played a couple games that way. Didn't play for a while. I wasn't in the lineup. We were on an ESPN game, a Sunday night baseball, 505 start. Dave Berg was playing third base. Bobby Bonilla had the day off. Bergie went out and had too many tequila shots, so oh. he was in the puking at about 442 p.m. So Jim Leland comes in and goes, hey, 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 my lord. You're going to be starting third base. This boy, I don't know what the hell happened to him. He's not playing him. I'm like, what? So I, I'm like, oh, God. So I got my whole family in town from L.A. This is ESPN. I start running sprints. I'm like, you know, doing the old ha, ha, ha. Eight bags in 12 years. But I'm waving. I'm waving. I get implemented in there. The, the, the nine hole or wherever I was hitting, wherever Bergie was. And the first pitch I see is Jeff Supon about 89 right down the pipe. I tried to homer. Foul it straight back, like, what's going on here? Okay, great, go to get back in the box. I can't move. My hand is like, I can't even, I'm like, I don't even know what happened. I've never been injured. I don't even know what's going on. And then Jim Leland comes walking out. The umpire's like, get back in the box. I'm like, All right, I, I, my hand, I can't hold the bat. I get taken out of the game. Here comes Bobby Bo having to go into the game that he was off. Berge ends up puking because of tequila shots. Millar takes one swing and breaks his hammock bone, whatever the hook of the hammock bone is. And Bonilla's like walking by like you blankety rookies and he has to get inserted into the game. So we had three starting third basemen that game by the second or third inning. Back to you. Wow. That, that's a great story. Do you tell that at parties? Yeah, my dad said, honest to God, he said, son, I came here and I'm going to write a book. If you never get called back up to the big leagues, because then you got to go get you know, the, uh, the surgery. And the, he goes, I can write a book. I saw my son take one pitch, one swing in the major leagues. That'll be the name <laughs> of the book. And I'm like, well, dad, I just want to try to get back up here. I just want to try. 